as we have cut to the board, that's always a good sign. It means that we are ready for game six. So who is going to be going first in this one? Do you remember, Chloe? I do not know. Um, I, put I think you on Matt the went spot, and it looks like Ari, oh, yeah, Ari. Has gone first. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Ari just needs one more Ari. win to clinch this set. Uh, he would have liked an A yeah. as that last tile. Instead, he drew a G. So yeah. how can we play off some play. tiles to leave nice leave going forward? Yeah. Um, maybe just something like Rouge will have to come down. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Leaving EL, which is strong. Um, uh, you could also play Arugo, which would set up a front A. Mm -hmm. uh, but those would be the sort of plays I'd look at, too. It, it hits the double and leaves two nice tiles to work with going forwards. Yeah. This is not the sort of rack where I'd recommend playing short. The leave just wouldn't be strong enough. And yeah, Ari I agree. is not just... the type to play short. No, when he can score a few more points, um, he'll totally take those. And it looks like so he's going for Arugo. Arugo, yeah. I think his I guess thought it is, here is that it, the G yeah. is a bit less dangerous in the double yeah. line. Yeah. When you can avoid it, it's good to not put a vowel in that double double line. So yeah, that makes sense. Um, it does make sense. He doesn't have the A front hook or the S back hook, but I think he likes yeah. the idea of an open board against a more closed player in Matt than himself. Right. Yeah, that's a good good consideration. Um, and now Matt has the X, so he'll be looking to score some points if he can. Um, uh, something like yeah, something Lax. Like Lax. Yeah, Uber, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. So that's Let's... one of the dangers of opening up a hook that you yourself don't have, is that the opponent is more likely to have it than you are. Um, but with the X, a play of Lax there is not the end of the world by any mean. Um, mm -hmm. And a very fun suggestion in the chat, now that I have the chat open, Morris is suggesting lading, L-A-D-I-N-G, and the point of that mm -hmm. would be to set up his X. Um, if it yeah. were to stay open, that would be a very successful idea. I don't think I would necessarily be making that play here. I think the D-I-N-R leave goes very nicely with the G and the O. Um, so I would prefer not to take that risk, because I think a lot of the time, your opponent is going to take that spot, personally. Yeah, I agree. I think for a setup like that, when you're not scoring so many points in the setup, you're just giving back a lot to your opponent um, that I will often just get used otherwise. So with Although, the setup, I now think that I'm generally want more, it to be hard to access. It would set up the mm -hmm. I. It also would set up a spot for the X next to the A. That on is the right-hand side. So um, there's definitely a lot of uh, potential there. And you always want to be thinking about those ideas, even if you don't ultimately pull the hook on them. Yeah. Uh. Um, so Joey in the chat has found a very difficult bingo. Yeah, um, I saw the O yeah. of Colwort. Colwort. Very nice. Um, I wonder if Ari will see it. Um, I think I was saying earlier, he does know a lot of words, but does not seem to have spotted this one. Um, so he'll go for mm -hmm. owl instead, um, which keeps Ari a nice leave. told me he finds studying very boring, and he did a lot <laughs> of his studying back in the day when he was learning the words. So maybe he hasn't spent quite as much time staying on top of them. So words like that could slip through. Um, but he has drawn the first blank, and Matt, on the other hand, has two sets of duplicates, duplicate R's and duplicate I's. Yeah, not the draw he was looking for. Um, huh. uh, so I think if you're Matt here, you want to play off more tiles than fewer if you have the chance. Unfortunately, his tiles don't work well with um, the left side of the board. Is there a way that he could get down to the OX, like he only has the C front hook. Is there yeah, any five letter yeah. word there? I don't think so. I didn't see anything. Um, yeah. You could play something like Not racing, I... leaving RD. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, yeah, it's just um, not very appealing, but. Crinoid. Yeah. 
which would play off one more tile. I think RD is not bad here, although it does slot that eye again next to the multiplier square, which he could be a bit afraid of. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, nothing that looks super great. So it's probably going to be something like Rising or cr Crinoid um, just to get some turnover and sort of work his way quickly out of this um, difficult rack. Yeah, and something like Rising really opens up the top portion of the board, which uh, I think he's going to want to keep things a bit open, even though he's more of a defensive player, just because of his his uh, tough rack here. You don't want to keep things too closed when you're not leaving nicely. He's going to take his time. It looks like he's riding now, which, yeah, that okay. makes just as much sense as Rising, if not more. Um, the CR is very synergistic. And are there any front hooks to riding? The G, I would think. Yeah, I think G makes sense. Um, uh, there's, oh, and the P. Yeah. And then it also takes the back S, like uh, political riding, like where you might vote writings. But Ari has oh, yeah. been looking at his blank bingo rack for a long time. And yeah. he needs no more time to get this down. Yep. Um, looks like he's gonna play Claudia. Claudia I think. Yeah. yeah. Good play, getting the double double. Um, he could have also yeah, played I can't imagine. Twitters, which I believe yeah. is a word, and that wouldn't slot that um, I next to the multiplier. So that might be a slight right. um, mistake. Yeah. But I guess there's already one of those open for writing, and that's true. But, yeah. And the X is gone. not as worrisome as it could be, but. It's, it's harder yeah. having two of them that you're going to have to take care of. Yeah, um, for sure. Matt's drawn pretty well. His rack looks a bit more workable, but it's still, the only battles he has are O's. Um, his first thought will probably be some sort of an overlap play on the left yeah. side of writing. Yeah, I would say mood um, seems fine. Oh, I was thinking on top of Claudier. He can also do, yeah. Oh, yeah, you um, can play there. Uh, you could, could look to play something longer, like Tom Cod or Motoric. Uh, hmm. Oh, Claudia is invalid, according to Josh. Oh. Wow, neither of us even hesitated on that. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I mean... That looked very man. invalid to me. Um, I guess so Matt also I did guess not. I found the I can guess only it. two by two, which was Clitters. Um, and I've since looked it up on Zizva. It's a thin, rattling sound. So... The word was available. It looks like it wasn't even held. Uh, Matt is now down a full bingo, about, I think, 81 points by my math. And yeah, he's probably, like, there's something like Tom on the left side of riding, but that takes out a lot of the lanes. You don't really yeah, want to be taking out really your bingo lanes. That. So your suggestion um, of mood is making sense to me. Yeah, I think um, CRT is a fine leave. Um, and, you know, just trying to score points, stay in like a one bingo range where one bingo would be enough to get him back in the game. Um, makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks like he's going to do that. And it also sets up his C underneath for Orc for, you know, possible scoring plays. Obviously not like an amazing spot, but just something you want to be aware of when you're making a play like that. Right. And Ari now has drawn the J. He's definitely going to be playing it this turn. Um, will he find something better than just J-O uh, next to writing, forming or? Mm -hmm. That looks like a pretty good option on its own. It would leave Royals, R-O-I-L-S, which would have a lot of promise, especially if you could draw an E or an A next turn. Yeah, Joe looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah. I, I don't even know what else he could really consider here. Yeah. There's no reason to burn the S. Um, like, he wants to keep the S for Arugos or Moods. Yeah, or, or Socks. Or so the S yeah. is, is so So many S hooks. S is it. really good. Yeah. Yeah, um, um, yeah I think Joe makes You don't want to look at O's. You want to get rid of the J. He's probably just looking to see if there's a higher scoring option, like a J play yeah. going through the R or the I of writing that's also hitting the double square. 
but I don't see a way he's going to be able to do that. So I think just J.O. is probably going to be coming down. And there it is. So 27 more points for Ari, putting the pressure now on Matt. Yeah, and now Matt has drawn the Y for the Moody hook, which will help him score well. He has things like Petty there. Um, so he is certainly staying in the game, um, though obviously still at a deficit. Um, Maybe something like Crappy, like C-R-E-P-Y stops true. the overlaps. That right, Petty yeah, that might be might allow. Yeah, It's, it's so not close to some of those weird keep, Shakespeare but... words, like Y clapped. Yeah. Um, oh, interesting. But, He's thinking of crypt. Um, so it would be... Yeah, that's defensive too. Point. But it's for a better... Defensive, lead, and it sets up like an S hook long term, which trailing would seem to work pretty well yeah. for him. Yeah. Scoring defense while keeping bingo options open is generally what you want to um, do when you're down. Like, you don't want to give Ari a great place or an easy place to score a lot of points but you want to keep options open for yourself to come back later on. And um, our Quackle expert, Josh Sokol, has found Triptych forming J-O-T, Jot. Um, so that would be his highest nice. scoring play, but it would only it would leave an E, which is totally fine as a leave. Some of the other options, if he played Crypt, he'd have E-T, which is a touch more balanced, but really um, the points might be nice here. Yeah. I don't love what it does to the board, um, just sort of um, starting to get in the way of the top left, which yeah, if locks the top down, left, it's the best idea. Rugos, yeah, um, because the screen's going to take out a Rugo, so I don't think it's the play he's going to be making here, even if he sees it. Yeah, he now has yeah, Petty okay, lined up, but, but I think Crypt, um, Crypt makes clever, more sense to me. Looks like he's setting that up again, um, so I would. I think that would be a cool play, and given his um, deficit, makes some sense. It makes sense to me too. It doesn't score as much as something like Petty because the C or the P is not on the multiplier square, but defensively, right. and for the reasons we've listed, I think it makes a lot of sense. So we will see what he ultimately goes Going back with. to Petty, which okay. does give a higher scoring spot for the seven letter word on Ari's rack. Yeah, and that's one of those high prop bingos that Ari's going to find yeah. every time. We, so we just saw that, yeah. um, Alestra as one of those high probability words that people who have studied words know very well. And Neurolis is another one of these words. And I don't think it's going to take Ari very long to put this one down. Yeah, and instantly yeah, and it setting it down. <laughs> So very um, few words start with N. It's one of those letters that doesn't like to start words, but in this case, it's going to start a word that's going to score in the high 70s, I would think. Yeah. I think 80 points. Yeah, it's 80. 80. Yeah, it's 80. Yeah. Um, so that'll be... Then, now he has a huge lead, more than 100. And Matt draws not amazingly um yeah matt i, I remember when he did commentary of for the nationals this year his whole strategy was that the players had to draw better and it doesn't seem like he's <laughs> taking his own advice right uh, now yeah he almost Although says he, vascular through the l that's um, true yeah black. just rr exactly. is not a word otherwise he would be bingoing there um he did draw both blanks at once in two of his earlier games today so he can't complain about the tiles too much but in this game, it feels like no matter what he's tried to do, he hasn't quite gotten to a workable rack. This is probably the closest he's been to a nice rack. Yeah. I guess he can play, what's he looking at? He's looking at VAU. Where would that go? Um, VAU. Not sure. I was thinking something like Kava. Um, make yeah, that's board. what I saw too. Because um, again, it's keeping that S hook alive, and he wants to have more than right. one S hook and alive. Opening, yeah, Ari's a second S hook. Exactly, because Ari's going to look yeah. to take out the ox spot, um, whether it's because yeah. he's scoring there or because he's playing defense there. Yeah, and there so, he is playing it. Um, it does take an orca is also a word, obviously another animal. And Ari has um, three A's. So I imagine he'll get something down there, something like paw. Um, yeah. Paw. Wait. 
um, anyways. And so that crypt yeah. decision didn't quite work out with him with Neroli's coming down. However, Neroli's would have played with Sox no matter what. So it's not like that decision is the one that necessarily has sunk him here. It just seems like Ari's drawing the tiles when he needs them, and Matt hasn't been quite as lucky. Uh, yeah. Looking at Matt, he's now drawn two U's. Oof. Yeah, not it's what you play want something to like Doofus, but I mean, that's yeah. I guess not Doofus and socks, obviously. Right. You know, but then it's killing the part that of the board area. You want. But yeah. sometimes you have to make that sacrifice when you have such a bad rack and a word that cleans it up so nicely. So, um, or you can play just something very simple like Paw, P A W, yeah. and forming Orca and A W. Um, that's where I would be looking first, for sure. He'd like yeah, to get rid of two A's if he could, but that's a big like spot that was just open. You would think that Matt has one of the hooks after having played that, although because of his deficit, he doesn't necessarily have to. Um, I mean, Ari could play Awa at the top right, but that would just not accomplish what he's looking to do and give a lot back to subsequent, subsequent plays. So I really think yeah, we're going to see exactly. something like Paw. Mm -hmm. He's going to play Ma. Um, a A N P versus A A N M. Typically, people like the M better than the P. Yeah. But is there some reason Napa on this board? Is a word. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, but I mean, he's not going to. But like, yeah, play no. That, um. Oh, he can do. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder um, why he decided, like, not that it's a huge difference. The difference would be quite small, but typically you'd want to hang on to the M over the P just because it's a, an easier to use time. Maybe he's thinking of keeping Paca, P A C A, to block um, the. Oh, the that's true. Yeah, yeah Pac, talk, or talk. just Pack. He doesn't have to play the A to then open right, that's the new true. lane. Yeah. Um, that's a great idea. But first, we'll or, see or if we're just Matt holding on to the, the P. Yeah, in general, the P just hooks, so keeping that flexibility, that option open, hooking Ox. Okay, so Matt will have to decide if he wants to play something like Doofus, killing the board for himself. He could play something with Flax, like FUD, um, which would leave some bingo tiles, ARSU, and then he could maybe, the Sox hook would still stay open, as would Orcas. So I would guess that would be what he would play, but it's not a guarantee by any means. What is a guarantee yeah. is he has to play at least one of the U's this turn without question. Yeah, for sure. I didn't see, um, I forgot that, that he had flax. I think that makes a little more sense than Doofus. Um, yeah, definitely got to play a U. Okay, so um, Morris is suggesting turf, which is a great idea because um, it sets up Matt's S. Now Ari has an S, but Matt has no way to know that. And Matt, with his huge deficit of 120 points, which is two bingos, essentially, um, he needs to start creating. So a play like Turf or Tufa, something there to set up his S. Turf also takes a Y, so maybe Tufa is a touch safer. Uh, oh, he's going to play fun. Oh, okay. Up there. Okay. I don't think it really changes things. Playing five with flax, though, would leave I mean, a place through the eye of riding more available. Right. Yeah. But I this sets the place ending in called. the D, right? Oh, he's changing oh, he's it. Gonna okay. switch it. Yeah, I like that more. Um, just leaving the board slightly more flexible, I think, given yeah, I the I think eye. so, too. Um, especially he doesn't have an E to end in ED, but it's probably pretty close. Um, yeah, so with Turf and Tufa, it's just how easy is it to block plays. The R and the F having two consonants in a row made blocking a play like that setting up the S a bit harder, which is, I think, what Morris was thinking. Right. Um, Ari, close to one of those fun sticky S words like anaplebs, uh, yeah. but doesn't have the L. Ari has a huge lead, though, and so he's going to look for a way... Uh, to score points, but also start taking out some of these lanes that Matt's going to yep. need to get back in the game. Oh, hey, hey guys, I'm back. 
This is a very interesting turn that we just had. Uh, but before I talk about this turn, I want to mention the Maw play because, yeah, it's very interesting uh, that normally, yeah, Paw is a lot better of a play, a few points better, um, because just the M is a better leave to to have with the uh, with the A and A or whatever it is. Um, and also because more letters underlap the M. So the M takes every single vowel and the Y, whereas the P takes an A, an E, an I, and an Ooh. O. So it's a, it's a bit less easy to... Uh, it's a bit less easy to to underlap that as we see B cap coming down. But I do want to talk about the FUD play because that was super interesting. And B cap is a great play, by the way. B cap yeah, to, uh, to really yeah. eliminate that that uh, big threat that's like the biggest threat on the board of hooking OX and playing a bingo down, down that column there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the play of FUD, I don't agree with you guys that it's more flexible because of the fact that uh, Ari is a lot more likely than you might think to just try and block that ox lane. After FUD, you have no more vertical space to use, uh, FUD and flax. Whereas if you play it with four, you can still go down and hook the L, uh, making EL or something, the L of lax. So I think FUD actually restricts things more than it, uh, more than it helps Matt. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think I would have chosen the other FUD, um, it's a good thing he didn't play something like Turf or Tufa because, yeah, we did see that Ari drew an S and would have been able to make a play on both triples or on the same triple twice and score a massive amount of points. So he saved himself some some trouble there. Cora, what did that keep? OSU, right? Yeah, oh, he drew really well. Yeah, um, he yeah. has drawn that second blank. Um, so Cora is an interesting really play. to get back in this game. I think Cora was but... the correct play. Uh, we weren't paying much attention. Yeah, but he we could didn't play Koa see. in the same spot. If you played Koa in the same spot, it's a lot easier to hook that word with like one of the many ends that are unseen. Um, so yeah, maybe Cora was a bit better, but the leave the leave of O R S U is a lot better than the O U S leave. But I think Cora was the right play. Anyways, really interesting play of Fud. Um, worth thinking about for a long time, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, if you have enough time. Um, but yeah, it turns out that. Uh, Morris was really wanting to play turf there, and his mention of why to play turf over Tufa was very interesting to me too. Uh, because when someone makes a play like that, we saw the play of Tout uh, Jackson versus Robin setting up the S. Uh, you know, at the high level, you know what your opponent is doing, and you're going to want to block. But in the position of having two U's and not actually being super likely to be able to score super well in the spot uh, immediately that you're creating with the play of Tufa from the T and Claudier, um, you actually are okay with your opponent blocking because they're sacrificing points and they'll be able to, uh, they'll be able to give you some more time basically. Anyways, back to you guys. That was a long monologue. Yeah. I think Ari has the right approach here of blocking or somewhat blocking the triple triple. I guess there's possibilities for playing through an NA, but, um, and keeping, a flexible leave of AENS and scoring some points. So yeah, doing all of what he wants to do, blocking the S hook on Ka. Um, so yeah, Sen is what I was thinking of as I was looking at that turn. What about you? Um, yeah, Matt is going to be spending a lot of time here trying to see if he can use the blank to hit both triple word scores. Uh, it's yeah, not I really wonder. the level pattern he would want, but it's definitely what he needs to get back into this game and to salvage a chance at winning this match. Yeah, what could he have? <laughs> yeah, I'm not really seeing not anything. Phone. Doesn't I'm mean bad. it's not there. Um, hmm. Yeah, it looks like Ari's what play of Sam is just enough to obstruct that lane. Hmm. If nothing else, he should be bingoing. Um, I see he has like overuse underneath Ma, and there's probably some others. Um, so, but yeah, it'll still yeah, leave him. Yeah, he won't be able to bingo. Yeah, he's yeah, down just about 120 point. though. So, uh, yeah, no, a he needs 65 more. point bingo there is just not going to do enough. Um, but it might be the best that he has. 
Is there a bingo like through the eye? Patriots or something? Yeah, but um, hmm. souvenir almost fits there, but J O N is not a word. Yeah, exactly. Grievous, like there's a lot of uh, potential eights. I'm just not seeing any that are fitting through that I because to go beneath J O and you really have to know your twos, your twos to your threes. So J O can take an E, a T a W or a G, I think, and a B. Um, so on his rack, he only has an E or the blank. So that really makes it a lot harder than it would otherwise be to hit that spot. Um, but yeah, your play of overuse, what's nice about it is that it leads to three overlaps. So yeah. uh, MU, Orcas, and Aw. So it's maximizing it'll be a the point. Decent score. Yeah, it'll be a good scoring bingo, just that whole trip that would bring him right back in it. Though there's probably still a bit of time for him to try to make something happen um, afterward, though I wish I knew how many tiles were left, but it'll be close um, of getting to the point where, you know, there's not enough time to both open up a new spot on the board. To, okay, 31 unseen. So after... He plays, that'll be, what, 24? Yeah, I guess there's enough tiles in the bag. There's enough time to um, open up a new lane somehow. There is enough time. The problem is uh, we're really running out of space on this board, and that's part of what Josh was saying with the FUD play. I think the one thing we were overlooking Ooh. in our analysis was forming bingos to the left of the L in LAX, going vertically, yeah. uh, so ending in the L. So that really okay. does leave long-term availability. And now we see Matt having overuse set up. He is winding down beneath eight minutes. So despite really wanting to see if there's a potential Hail Mary, triple, triple, get him back in the game, I do think he's going to end up playing overuse here. Yeah. Um, Josh was wondering if he is setting up over sure through the ER of um, so yeah. I don't actually know. This is really interesting. He's going to play overuse which almost every time you have this position, that would be the right play. However, um, even if he played just over sure, keeping the blank through the E and the R, uh, he might have been in, in luck. So if he just plays over sure and B caps, he's setting up a huge spot uh, underneath the E of over sure, right on that triple which you don't want to do, but he's also forking the board, setting up a triple-triple possibility through the O in Oversure. He's scoring 38 yeah. points. It's not 75, but just consider the position, and you'll see that because Ari had actually no way of handling either of those threats um, with his current rack, which Matt obviously doesn't know, uh, most of the time you'll be able to play through the O or play parallel to the E and you'll win the game, but he could have triple tripled. He could have triple tripled next turn, or he could have had a huge bingo, depending on what Ari did. So he's forking the board, he's creating two big threats, and Ari would probably want to block the triple triple uh, first and foremost, because he would still have been ahead by almost 100 points. But actually, I'm not even sure about that. Yeah, I'm, not over sure. I'm not over sure. I'm not over sure. But over sure, I think, yeah, is the best play. I like yeah, that, that idea. Ari, if he wanted to block the O, would have had to play like Eon, A E O N, uh, yeah. which would have opened a new bingo lane. And and Matt would have still been holding the blank, which he could have then used beneath the E of over sure. So, really interesting position. I love that idea. Like, it was a reluctant. He had it lined bingo. up. Even, I don't, don't really know if he wanna... had that lined up. Yeah, I don't know if he had seen that. If it was that I, or if he thought aggressive. he was he likes, there. Yeah. He loves I those he ideas. Is. I remember when I was first meeting Matt and I didn't have the same grasp on words that I do now. He was always trying stuff like that. And in a situation like this, when you're behind, it makes it a really tough challenge for Ari. Uh, even if in another situation in the game, he would have challenged without really thinking. But even so, here, even here, um, he's only down 35 points, and Ari is having, having to spend his blank to just to get rid of the Q. Uh, yeah, sorry, spend over. his S. Spend yeah. his S. And it's yeah, it's definitely not over, but we do see now the board dynamics I was talking about with FUD. Yeah. Imagine that lane was still open. That's uh, the problem. Down now, to the L of Max, Blacks. Easiest way to score is on the bottom right. 
but scoring in the bottom right is not going to help him in the long term uh, cut into this 35 point deficit. Remembering that after he scores, Ari's going to have tempo. Although yeah. Ari's drawn poorly, he's all one point tiles. And he's not going to be able to score, score and that is going to continue to score well with Faye. Um, he's only down so just, 25 after this play. Yeah. Yeah, this game is oh. very much alive. Um, Ari's quickly picked up two tiles, the A and the E. He might play Ave. The uh, yeah. Why not Eve? Yeah, that's weird. In the same spot. Yeah, Eve would make more maybe, sense. Maybe he's finding another spot that we're not seeing. This is this is actually interesting. We have to see what Matt draws here, if it's going to help him. Oh! oh the Zed. Two of the best scoring tiles in the game, right as he needed them. The H oh, and the Z. Man. And, like, and Haze, Z -E -D. that's going to score quite a lot. Um, yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe Ari should play with a Wii. Maybe he should play yeah, like that's ETA. Yeah. That's such a big I mean, now, well, yeah. now that we see what Matt has, yeah. obviously, it's but easy you do. to say. But you can get in what Will called this morning the equity trap, whereas mm -hmm. players tend to think, what's the best equity play? Well, I play off two vowels and I'm leaving a nice balanced rack. But on this board, is equity your main goal? And maybe the bigger fear is that bottom right corner where it's pretty easy to score. Because even though Ari's yeah, drawn nice here, styles, the what is he going to do with them? Oh, I think we might be getting Chloe back. But we Chloe's frozen, I think. But um, yeah, this is really interesting. Matt's probably going to play Hayes here. Um, he's going to tie the game. He's actually going to be ahead after the play. He'll be ahead by 11 points with five tiles in the bag. Uh, and can not you show exactly us ideal. the unseen... The unseen uh, tiles, Josh. Uh, yeah, let me go back because I, I already put I already input the play of Hayes. I don't I don't see any way that he doesn't play Hayes here. The, um, the only reason he wouldn't back, play it is if he could find a way to score once. Like he could play ads, for example, and save the H to score on a later turn. But I mean, but no, yeah. you might as well cash in on the twelve good. points now. Wow, what a what a turn of events. Yeah, what a turnaround. Um, this is so this everybody is exactly in the chat, what Josh Matt needed. Yeah. Posted the tiles that were unseen. Um, and now these are the Matt. ones unseen right now to Ari. Oh, so it's Matt's not drawn great. Vowels. Oh, oh, look at that no. draw. Oh, he left C U I no. and he drew A E I I. <laughs> Man, oh, that is not bad. He's done oh, such a good no. job to claw back into this game, but that's a pretty deathly draw. Ari's yeah, this holding three I can't see Matt winning this. Oh no, this might be it, guys. Uh, this this draw is like the worst. Like all of the vowels. I mean, normally when you draw all vowels, you you look straight onto your score sheet. It's like, are these the only vowels? Because right. then drawing mm -hmm. the vowels is good because your opponent doesn't have them. Yeah. Ari has three vowels. He's not going to have any issues for the rest of the game. He yeah. can play something like innate or inbox or he could basically play any scoring play here and he's going to be uh set and to win this game there are uh, constants in the bag he could have drawn like the b g h right yeah um so there were a lot available he just happened to draw all four and poor robin the <laughs> saying looks familiar because we saw her earlier this morning on stream getting a bad string of vowels yeah. a few times in a row yeah, this um, is uh this is I don't know. I don't know what Ari's thinking here. Um I mean unseen to him, obviously we see the B, the G, the G, and the H. Um those are tiles that score more than one point. So this is a difficult position. He has a lot of time to use to figure out what he wants to do. Um in this position, this is what I would be doing. I'd be looking at my rack, looking for scoring plays, but also looking to see if any of the letters that I have are case letters if any of the letters on my rack are letters that uh matt cannot have and the only letter that is like that is the l so there might be some way to use the other letters on my rack to set up my l but probably not he's yeah. playing an eight oh, so he plays he's an not eight wasting here. any time yeah and i think this is a winning well, play this leaves matt's one in the bag the yeah so leaves one, leaving in the one in the bag. Then, yeah. smart. He's not worried yeah. about bingo. Yeah, there's no way, I think, at this point. And that yeah, Matt he's going to be really happy to see the H come down on his rack. Yeah, that all was these the one tile he was probably pretty afraid of. Um, so yeah. 
Sorry, Arnie yeah, the scores are now updated. Consonants. Matt has six vowels, and the consonants just score more. And on yeah. a, a tight board like this, that is very important. Matt's going to want to play off as many tiles as he can here, and that's not going to be easy to do. This is yeah. really, really bad. Um, he like, can play off one of his eyes. Where can he play multiple vowels here? Like, he can that play off one of his R, eyes at anything? some point. At some point with QI, you might just have to drop an eye for 11 points. That yeah. just might be yeah. what he can do here. This is... Um, I mean, if you wanted just points, yeah. like J-O can be extended to Jota or something, but then it gets rid of his consonant. He can't do that. So QI, yeah, maybe. And then hope to draw something like the H or the N. Yeah, he's considering audit through the D. Um, that's yeah, that his, makes sense. That's nine yeah. points. But he's never going out after that. Right. Um, however, here's the thing: the scores are close enough that if neither player can can use their letters to go out in two, um, sometimes the vowels on closed boards will uh, will be tricky and will actually lead to uh, complications. Look, look at my points. Yeah, I think here this is Ari not an with like opportunity. Yeah. Yes, like if Ari just drops the H and the N above yeah. over the use. It's yeah. just going to be too many points for my uh, Matt to fight back against. Yeah, that's true. Um, would there be any way to try and block that? Probably not. Um, uh, yeah, the yeah, analysis is giving me ridiculous. There. The analysis is giving me completely ridiculous, uh, ridiculous yeah. numbers here. But here's the thing. Okay, imagine Hen is played next turn. There's only one spot for a G on the board. Right now. Yeah, could he get and that is G I. Oh, there's two. There's two spots. Sorry. Um oh three. There's okay, dog. never mind. Okay. Mig, yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, dog, actually, dog. yeah. Sorry about that. But there <laughs> might okay. there you might run out of spots for your consonants. Yeah, that's the sort of thing you want to think about. And then if you get stuck with them, then the opponent gets the worth of the tiles times two. So Matt's just gonna say, Well, this is the most points I can get, even if I have to sacrifice uh my consonant that's just never gonna win leaving e u i i i but i don't think anything was really winning here yeah uh, but i think audit maybe was better than that this is this is actually really not over how um, many turns will it take matt to go out here at least a lot three. right yeah at least three because the, the two eyes aren't going to go together um, so right. this is Im important. So if Ari does play Hen, which he looks like he's about to do, he might only have one clear way, clear path to victory after that. Um, here's the thing: like <laughs> Ari has really, really clunky letters. Uh, so he's reconsidering. He's trying to make sure he has. Okay, the the key play here to find is Algors. Through the to the ors mm -hmm. that play is is going to propel Ari to victory uh, yeah. in this wow. end game <laughs> but other than that play uh if he plays hen and matt scores well with b-i-e-r to the e-r on the bottom left of the board um that's algors is, is ari's only way to win i think hmm. wow i would not expect that um, Let me. Oh, uh, well, the scores are still well, still correct. Hen yeah. scores twenty two, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Yeah. Yep. And then beer scores eight uh, twenty. Yeah. So those two plays would get just two more in Ari's favor, um, and then mm -hmm. he would be those G's that Josh was so worried about. And now that the G I spot, so part of what Matt's play did that was so successful is it also got rid of the best spot for Ari's G's. Right. That's why, that's yeah, that's why Jota was a great play. Yeah. Because, yeah, now Jog and GI is, and he also had the B unseen to him, so Job and BI also was a big threat. And just these one-tile plays, you can see how close this board is, how awkward the racks are. These one-tile plays are really important. Just QI for 11 is actually the game-winning play if Ari can't find his play of Algors. Is it possible so, that you play Jen instead of Hen, or does that score just too much fewer? Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I like that idea. The H can go where though? With yeah, because you have AC. Yes. Yeah. Um... Yeah, where so where is the H? And you're leaving oh. I guess H, -E -L -N. H E W. I mean, um, Ari's gonna be down fifteen points in that same sequence after Jen and Beer. So yeah, I actually think that's too much. Um, let's see. If you oh, just he's doing draw... GI first. Wait. Oh, oh to oh. block Beer. But this is a has... really, really cool play. So if he plays GI there to block Beer, then B O goes where we thought the H was gonna go. Guys, this but end game I'm stuck with five vowels. That makes there's a lot only, of sense. There's only one human being in the world that can solve this end game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, GI, you have to look ahead like seven turns <laughs> if wow. you play GI. And that's he so plays it. Oh, wow, my that's goodness. really scary. So and now that one person Matt... that who could make that play would have to be GI Joel. Is that what you're suggesting, Josh? <laughs> Now Matt has a big choice here. Does he want to drop his B for 14? Probably. Uh, in the same so, spot that Hen would go. Oh, I yeah. for one. <laughs> but no, that doesn't block Hen the other way. Yeah, I think you have to play B, E, and B, O here. Yeah. Wow. And then what? He'll be up 20. Wait. Oh, we have the scores wrong. I'm sorry. Again. Oh, B E yeah, also gives back to Jenny the proper down. score. B E gives this back to Jenny current down. Score. Beg. Matt is um, actually ahead by six points in this position. Okay. Yeah, that's. Um, and he'd be ahead twenty after B E. I just think yeah, after Ben or sorry Jen making beg after B E, um, that'll score a bunch for Ari, and then plus the H. Right. Um, yeah. If he right. plays BE, then Ari plays Jen going down for me, beg. I don't know, guys. Um, it's still and really then, complicated. Yeah. yeah like, it's is... one of these things that you need, like, hours and pen and paper yeah. and maybe right. a calculator. Okay. So, so he the does B play comes B. down. That's what Fair we call the now. human play. <laughs> yeah. Ben well, is. We'll talk is about isn't that many points compared to Hen? And the H isn't very good here. Isn't very Where useful. Where is Hen going to go? Well, I I'm saying, he's... like, in the sequence yeah. that, that Ari oh, chose. Yeah. Right. Hen right, was a right, winning okay. play. We know that Hen was a winning play. I don't know uh, if this maybe, was I mean, a, maybe winning, he didn't a winning see play. Albums? I don't know. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah, That's it has to be. I mean, yeah, yeah. But I feel like intuitively you still want to play Hen. I don't know. Is he making the play uh, of Jen? Hen was I my mean... first instinct too. Uh, we know what he was doing, blocking beer. Now Matt's going to probably put down an I for QI. Matt's... There it goes. Guys, That's I 11. think Matt's winning this game. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm He's already sure. made his play. What's the? Do we have the proper score? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For let me, let me, I'm, I'm updating it as it goes on. <laughs> It, Matt is up 16 points right now. Right. And just Ari's dropping the getting H, 10. It's only 10. Yeah. He's still um, down six. And hmm. Matt just has just enough spots for his vowels in this is position. Is there anything he can set up knowing that Matt's rack is so unflexible to deal with anything? I don't think so. I think this was. A choke from Ari. I, I don't know. Okay. There's it, still, Matt only has that. a minute and a half. Matt only has yeah. a minute and a half. But look at his. Matt back. is pretty good I, under I. pressure. Um, oh. So that new sets up his A. We were talking about if tiles can oh, set anything up. True. So that so might LH be a winning thought. Because now we set up law to go out if it's enough. If not, he can it's play not, slower. It's not enough. Oh, it is enough. Oh, okay. my God. It is enough. Wow. Very smart. Good Beautiful, play. Ari. Wow. With, that was great. With the oh pressure. My goodness. Ari is maybe going to win this game by one point. <laughs> what? Wow. And do, do we know? I wonder if they have the score correct. I mean, I guess you have to assume they do. But that's often. Wow. Wow. 
That is. And I will say that find. Morris Greenberg right. in the chat right. had also found yeah. new to a new. So very nicely done by Morris. Wow. Matt's going to have to play off two vowels for seven points. We'll put him up 17. And then Ari can play L-A-H, coming in clutch, that yeah. relatively new word, for 14 points to win by one. Wow. Wow. And that serious. means we're going to get a recount. <laughs> yeah, you'd think. I hope they, because remember, we have the proper score based on the computer, but the final score is going to be what they agree to based on their own calculations, um, which I'm pretty sure they both have very accurate math. It'll be proper, but um, it is something to consider. And Ari might take a little bit of time here, maybe not, to, to try and recount, score. but he <laughs> might not have enough time. I think this is the best he's got. Intuitively, you just you have to go out here because Matt just has too many points for his eyes. Yeah. What you can't block even if he them. plays H E S and then L A and Anu on the next turn? Hmm. Mm, three. Because I think that would probably be better. Although this is going to be enough to win. I don't think that's just, I don't think it's as much just because of the seven. He and gets it's from done. My, my, wow. He plays L A H to win by <laughs> Ari wins the series after a one point win. Well, we'll have to see so, what scores they have. Yeah. Of some they players don't know like what to the take, real score is. Some players like to take the safe path to victory. Ari wanted the content <laughs> path to victory. So. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. We wow. used to think that yeah, when it came to six foot seven content players, there was only Josh Sokol. But now I think there's a second six foot seven content player in uh, <laughs> the champion of this set, Ari Sinki.